champion, and he's gonna have a blast with us tonight. He was truly one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I've been to Vegas, I've seen shows around the world, and I walked into his seminar, and as Marcy did a test, I was laughing so hard, she started filming me because I couldn't contain myself. That's too much information, Marcy. And so, um, but no, so I'm gonna turn the time over, and we got, we got some mystery got music coming music from somewhere. The mystery music. Anyone can name this song, I got a prize for it. All right. Yeah, one of the songs. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hold on, I got a prize back here for you. So what most of you guys don't know about me is deep down inside I'm an actual carny. Like my wife and I grew up on carnivals juggling, that's how we made our money the first time. So I went to the dollar store and bought bags full of just junk, because I was going to turn this room into a carnival. So literally I have like multiple bags of junk, so you got to decide which one you want. Alright. Perfect. Turn the time <laughs> so um, I, I think it, for me, just a second, I know right now my voice is way too powerful. Hold on. So um, do, you, do some of you just know that you've got secret talents? Like secret talents that maybe you don't even know about? So, so for me, I first discovered my power to hypnotize people. When, uh, actually, I first got married, and, and my wife and I we said we'd have this tradition where we'd just read at night. And so I noticed that, seriously, it would take me less than two paragraphs before she would be out cold asleep. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, I have this amazing ability to put people to sleep. <laughs> and I noticed that power greatly enhanced when, um, when I had children, and I started to read my kids stories, and I don't know if any of you have had this experience, but I would start reading, and my voice was so powerful, I would actually put myself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's so cold, my kids would be running all over me. So, um, so anyways, I'm super excited to be here tonight, and yes, my name is Eduardo, the Harry Chested Champion, and tonight, we are going to sleep together. <laughs> okay. When I say the word sleep, in a hypnotic sense, I do not mean to sleep like you sleep at night. What I mean is this extraordinary state of mental, physical, and psychological relaxation. And it's while you are in that relaxed state that you are most receptive to suggestion. So in a moment, I'm going to invite you to come forward, fill in the chairs behind me. Once the chairs are filled, all additional subjects will fill in the space behind the chairs. Before you come forward, there's a couple things you need to know about hypnosis. First off, Absolutely anyone can be hypnotized. Everyone turn to the person next to you, look them in the eye and say, yes, even you can be hypnotized. <laughs> it's true, anyone can be hypnotized. There's only two things you must be able to do. First, you must be able to relax. And second, you must be able to concentrate. So just to see whether or not you might be hypnotizable, we're gonna do a little experiment. So first off, I just need everyone to go ahead and place both feet flat on the floor. That's right, place both feet flat on the floor. Now go ahead and take your right hand and place it directly in front of your face just like this. That's perfect, you guys are doing good. So the next step is take your left hand and grab your right wrist just like that. Now the first part is relaxation. Go ahead and allow your hand to kind of limp, loose, and relax, as though it were made from a handful of loose rubber bands. Now go, be, go ahead and shake that hand forward and just feel how relaxed that in hand is now. Now here comes the concentration part. As you continue to move that hand forward and backward, forward and backward, go ahead and move your feet from side to side, just like that. A little bit faster, a little bit faster. You look at your neighbor, see it, make sure you're doing it faster than them. Congratulations! Turn to the neighbor and say, you are hypnotizable! <laughs> now, there's a few of you that are concerned that when you come up on stage, you're going to look ridiculous. Trust me, if you didn't feel silly doing what you just did, you're going to be just fine on stage, too. 
So tonight is just all about having fun, just letting go, letting it happen. I will tell you that the folks that join me on stage tonight, not only will be the ones that have the most fun tonight, but they'll also be the same ones that make the most money over the next 12 months. Guaranteed. And here's the reason why, the same courage, the same courage that's required to get on stage and to do something you've never done before is the same courage that's required to go out there and take new actions in your life. And it's only by taking new actions that you can get new, some new results. And how many of you really want to get some new results in your life? Let me hear, oh yeah. Perfect. So congratulations, all of you get to come up on stage in a moment. When I say the word go, we're going to fill in the chairs behind me. Once the chairs are filled, additional subjects will line up behind the chairs. Once again, tonight is all about having fun. If you guys are ready, so am I. Come on, fill in the chairs behind me. Space behind the chairs. We need, we need a nice full space. Come on, come on, come on. Give that person your hand. entirely harmless, and I promise to take good care of you. You must realize that you and you alone are responsible for your well-being. And by being here on stage, you acknowledge that Woody is completely innocent <laughs> and has no liability for whatever happens to him. <laughs> If, uh, if any of you are pregnant or on drugs or have any other condition that might be aggravated by flopping around on stage with a group of total strangers, now's your time to go back. By being here now, you acknowledge that you are here of your own free will and choice. And since you're here tonight, the key is just to relax, have fun, and just let it happen. By being here on stage tonight, you demonstrate that you have, you have courage and you have this ability to just let it go, so that's what tonight's all about. So in a moment, I'm going to begin relaxing you, step by step. In a moment, I'm going to begin relaxing you and helping you become in a state where you can just let go. So everyone just take a big, deep breath in. Now breathe out. Breathe on in. Breathe on peace and relaxation, and simply close your eyelids down now. In a moment, I'm going to begin relaxing you, step by step. As I do, you'll always be able to hear the sounds in the room around you. You'll always be able to hear the sounds in the room around you, unless I give you a specific suggestion otherwise, and I do not intend to do so. Every sound you hear will allow you to now concentrate even more completely on the sound of my voice. 
Every sound you hear will allow you to now relax even more and more completely. That's fine. You're concentrating perfectly. For the next few minutes, for those of you that are in the audience, please remain as quiet as possible, giving the folks on stage a chance to concentrate just as you would want to concentrate if you were in their shoes. After that, you are welcome to make as much noise as you want. In fact, the more noise, the more fun all of us are going to have. But for the next few minutes, just be as quiet as possible. Now, I will tell you, each and every show, there will be people that go to, into trance directly in the audience. So if the person next to you begins nodding or falling asleep or, or begins leaning against you, do yourself a favor. Don't shake them or wake them up. Just do yourself a favor and give them a nice place to land. I promise you, you're in for a good show. So for the next few minutes, just remain as quiet as possible, allowing the folks on stage to concentrate. So in a moment, when I count from one to three, you'll open your eyes. You'll look at me, and you will concentrate on letting go. You'll concentrate on allowing every muscle in your body to become limp, loose, and relaxed. If so, you were made from a handful of rubber bands. In a moment, when I count from one to three, you'll open your eyes, and you'll concentrate. One, two, three. Open your eyes, look at me now, and concentrate. Simply breathe in deeply. Now breathe out. Breathe in peace and relaxation. Simply let it go. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Hold it for five seconds. Two.
Number five, at the top of this small set of stairs. Number four, each and every number, become more and more relaxed. If I touch or move you in any way, you simply allow every muscle in your body to become limp, loose, and relaxed. Five.
begin concentrating on a hand that is free and unencumbered. As you begin concentrating on that hand, it doesn't matter if you're, it's your right hand or your left hand, that hand begins to feel light and relaxed. The more you concentrate on that hand, it feels as though there's a giant bouquet of helium balloons attached to that hand. And the more and more you concentrate on that hand, the lighter that hand becomes. In a moment, I'm going to be counting backwards from three to one. As I say the number three, balloons expand to a thousand times original size. And as you continue concentrating on that hand, that hand becomes more and more relaxed. Number three, that hand becomes limp, loose and relaxed, lifting itself right off of your lap, right off of your chair, now right into the air. The more you concentrate, visualize, imagine, believe, the lighter that hand becomes, as though it feels as though that hand is being lifted by a bouquet of helium balloons, rising and lifting, lifting and rising. That's fine, you're concentrating perfectly. The more you concentrate, imagine, visualize, believe, the lighter that hand becomes. If I touch your hand, it's as though additional balloons are being added to the hand. Now rising and lifting, lifting and rising, rising right off of your lap, right into the air. That's fine. You're concentrating perfectly. Now rising and lifting, lifting and rising, lifting you straight off of the ground, straight off of your chair, now straight into the air. The more you concentrate, visualize, imagine, believe, the lighter that hand becomes, now lifting you higher and higher still, rising and lifting, lifting and rising, that's fine, you're concentrating perfectly. The more you concentrate on that hand, the more you feel those helium balloons lifting you higher and higher still. The next number, number two, it feels as though additional balloons are being added to your wrist, rising, lifting them higher and higher still, now rising and lifting. Lifting and rising, that's fine. You're concentrating perfectly. If I touch your hand, it feels as though additional balloons are being added to that hand. Lifting it higher and higher still. Rising and lifting, lifting and rising, that's fine. You're doing perfectly. As you continue to concentrate, imagine, visualize, believe, as the lighter that hand becomes, and it feels as though those balloons are lifting you straight off of the ground. Straight off your chair now, straight into the air. Now rising and lifting, lifting and rising. That's fine. You're concentrating perfectly. As you continue to concentrate, it feels as though that, that balloons are lifting you straight off of the ground. Now pulling you straight into the air. Now rising and lifting, lifting and rising. That's fine. You're concentrating perfectly. The balloons continue to expand more and more, now pulling you up, rising and lifting, lifting and rising. That's fine, you're concentrating perfectly. As you continue to concentrate, visualize, imagine, believe, it feels as though those balloons are pulling you straight off the ground, straight off your chair, now straight into the air, causing you to rising and lifting, lifting and rising. That's fine, you're, you're concentrating perfectly. Balloons continue to expand more and more, lifting you higher and higher still. Rising and lifting, lifting and rising. That's right, just feel those balloons pull you up towards the sky, lifting you higher and higher still. That's right, in a moment, balloons will expand even further. The moment I say the number one, balloons will expand to 10,000 times the original size, lifting you off of your chair, off the floor, now straight into the air. Three, two, one, rising and lifting. Lifting and rising. That's fine, you're concentrating perfectly. Feet are stuck to the ground, feet are stuck to the ground, that's right. Rising and lifting, lifting and rising, continuing to pull you further and further up. Hold on to those balloons. Those balloons are pulling you straight towards the sky, lifting and rising. Rising and lifting, continuing to pull you higher and higher still. In a moment when I say the number one, balloons expand to a million times original size, lifting you straight into the air, higher and higher still, pulling you straight towards the sky. Three, two, one, rising and lifting. Lifting and rising, that's fine. You're concentrating perfectly. In a moment, 
I'm going to count from one to three. When I say the number three, you'll open your eyes, and you'll look at your hands, and you'll see how well you've concentrated. A moment when I say the number three, you'll open your eyes, you'll look at your hands, you'll freeze right where you are, and you'll see how well you have concentrated. One, two, three, open your eyes, look at your hands, see well how well you've concentrated. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have some excellent subjects. Give our stars a huge round of applause. Keep your hands right where they are. Keep your hands right where they are. If I give you a number, I'm going to keep you on stage. If I do not give you a number, it does not mean you're a bad subject. It just means tonight's not your night. If I give you a number, I'm going to keep you on stage. If I do not, we'll simply go back to your seat. You, this, are number one. You are number two. And you are number three. You, sir, you are definitely number four. <laughs> you are definitely number five. You are number six. And you, sir. <laughs> yes, you are definitely number seven. You are definitely number seven. So if I gave you a number, I'm going to keep you on stage. If I did not give you a number, simply go back to your seat. Give these folks a huge round of applause. All right, if I gave you a number, if I gave you a number, I'm going to keep you on stage. If I give you a number, simply stay on stage here for just a moment. All right, if I give you a number, go ahead and find a seat. Go ahead and find a seat. Go ahead and find a seat, sir. Alright, if I give you a number, I'm going to keep you on stage. If I give you a number, I'm going to rearrange you slightly just to make it a little easier for you to concentrate. So I'm going to have you stand up, and you stand up, and I'm going to have you switch seats with her. So I'm going to have you sit right here, and actually you keep standing, and you stand up, and I'm going to have you switch seats with Kevin. Kevin, you go ahead and move over there. And I'm going to have you sit right there. Awesome. I've got a feeling we're in for a good show. What do you guys think? Woo! I think we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Give these folks a big round of applause. Oh, yeah. So, um... So I, I grew up in a small town in Minnesota, and growing up, um, I had actually seven brothers and sisters, and you know, you learn a lot of things when you grow up in a family like that. Number one, you learn how to have fun, and you learn to just let things happen as they happen. And because you guys have joined me on stage tonight, I kind of feel like we're family. Kind of because it's the same number of people, and because tonight, I promise to take good care of you, and I promise we're going to have fun, because these folks are going to be the stars of tonight's show. I feel like it's appropriate that we meet them on a first name basis. So we're going to start right over here. We're going to start right over here, and what's your name, sir? Tyler. Tyler, awesome. Great to have you here. Who are you here with tonight, Tyler? Uh, my family. Your family? <laughs> Where's your family? Tyler's family, you hear some noise? Uh, How many of you guys are excited Tyler's up here tonight? <laughs> Awesome. So I think Tyler will probably be one of our superstars tonight. So, uh, so where are you from, Tyler? Uh, from here in Utah. From here in Utah. Awesome. Great. So, um, so it's great to have you here. Tyler, I'm just going to hypnotize you. It'll take less than a second. Give me your hand here. Take you less than a second. Just look into my eyes. Just breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Sleep. Wait. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany, it's great to have you here. So, um, so where are you from, Brittany? Heber. Heber, and would Brittany's family make some noise, please? <laughs> so, uh, it's great to have you here. I promise to take good care of you. We're going to hypnotize you. It's going to take less than a second. Just hold my hand. Just breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Breathe in. Sleep. Way down. Oh. 
close family you have. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> not like that. All right, perfect. All right, so uh, what's your name? Wade. Wade, it's great to have you here. Thanks for thanks for showing up. Just breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Breathe in. What do you do for a living, Wade? Sleep. Wade, down. I don't really care what Wade does for a living. I'm just, I'm, not sure. I'm just glad he's joined us. Just go ahead and relax. Sleep. Let every muscle in your body become limp, loose, and relax. That's fine. What's your name? Lily. Lily, great. And who do you hear with tonight, Lily? Uh, actually, I'm with Woody. You're here with Woody? Yeah, the family. All right, well, he's a good person to be here with. Okay, yeah, just to start the tonight's show. All right, so just uh, say your name one more time. Lily. Lily, okay. Just breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Breathe in. Simply let it go. Sleep. Way down. Good. Great. Just breathe in deeply. Sleep. Way down. Good. Give me another superstar. I promise you that. <laughs> What's your name? Catherine. Catherine, it's great to have you here tonight. Just breathe in deeply. Just breathe out. Just breathe in. Breathe out and simply let go of sleep. Way down. Sleep. Way Tonight's show. Are you guys excited to see them? Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. So from now on in the show, the more you laugh, the more noise you make, the more fun all of us are going to have. For those of you that are on stage in a moment, I'm going to count from three to one. When I say the number one, you'll begin laughing hysterically as though you just remember the punchline for the funniest joke you've ever heard in your entire life. Already that joke begins to enter your mind, and you begin laughing and giggling, giggling and laughing. The more and more you laugh, the more funnier and funnier that joke becomes. Already the joke enters your mind, three, two, one, the funniest joke you've ever heard in your entire life. And you begin laughing and giggling, giggling and laughing. <laughs> the funnier and funnier that joke becomes. Oh, the joke becomes funnier and funnier still. Laughing and giggling. <laughs>
say that number three, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, and the person whose neck I'm touching right now. When I say the number three, the two of you whose neck I'm touching, you will become human safety belts. That's right, from now on in the show, anytime I say the word safety, you will jump out of your chair and lay across the people to your right, protecting them from harm because you are human safety belts. And it is your job to protect them from harm. So anytime I say the word safety, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, and the person whose neck I'm touching right now, you will leap across the people to your right, laying across them, protecting them from harm. In a moment, all of you will open your eyes. When I say the number three, all of you will open your eyes. One, two, three, wide awake. Wide awake. Good, wide awake. Everyone sit up. All right. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys having fun so far? <laughs> yeah? All right, well, it's good to have you here. Thank you. You know, um, every time I do these shows, I'm always really, really conscious because, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen, and I'm always really aware of their safety.
you're walking around, you don't have too many people that are like, hey, I see you dancing. You look, you know, kind of like a gay. <laughs> they don't, they don't come up to you and give any crap. So, you know, one kind of had to go in hand with the other. So, so it's, it's kind of a benefit to be such a bulky, husky man, so so other guys don't hit on you, right? Well, I mean, you you get hit on. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's just one of those things that we like it reconfirms within yourself that you're doing what you gotta do. <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Everybody knows it. So you, you see that. So, so do you think he's been eyeing your butt for a while? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are you going to do about it? Are you sure? Well, Sir, did you, did, did you or did you not? I did not steal that man's butt. <laughs> then you know who, does, who did? Do you know who did it? Woody. <laughs> I have an idea. You have an idea? Like, who, who, who do you think did it? It may have been Woody. Do you think Woody might have done it? 
That sounds like something you do. <laughs> <laughs>
realize that the person next to you has the most terrible body odor you've ever smelled. The moment I say the number one person next to you has terrible body odor, so bad you can barely stand it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously, really? What? I mean, I, I'm not one of the really? No, it's not Ew. me. Except your arms. The moment I stop my foot, body odor becomes ten times worse. Get back to your seat. Everyone get back to your no, seat. No, no, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Okay, everyone find your way back. Just get back to your seats. When I when I stomp my foot, it really, you realize it is you that has a body at her. You realize that it's your body at her. Sorry. <laughs> What's making you uncomfortable? Um, well, it really smells. Yeah, what is that something? I think it might be me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't like it. You don't? Um, Did you forget to bathe this morning? No, I did. It was really hot. <laughs> it was really hot? It was really hot. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. What about you? What about you, little boy? I stink. I get one of my you think you went in your pants? Oh, That's kind of awkward. I wonder if Woody has an extra pair of pants for you. Do you want to see if we can find another pair of pants for you? Yeah? Okay, do we need to call your mom and dad? No? You don't want that, dude. You don't want that. Alright, how are you doing, sir? Right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. In a moment. Alright, everyone back to your seat. Oh. <laughs> 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 Alright, go ahead and find your seat. In a moment, when I come back with the three to one, all of you will have, will realize that it is so hot in here. It was unbearably hot. In fact, the moment I saw my foot, it feels as though we're in the middle of the Amazon jungle. It's 150 degrees with high humidity. Three, two, one. Oh, so hot, so hot. Oh my gosh, you gotta do whatever it takes to cool yourself off. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's even hotter and hotter now. Oh, wow. Feel that. Oh, so, so hot, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, you gotta do whatever it takes to keep yourself Cool, oh my goodness. Uh, all right, now, straight directly in front of you, all of you have a dial to the air conditioner. Everyone reach out with your hand to the air conditioner and hold that dial right there. And begin turning that down. I'll feel how nice that feels to turn that air conditioner down. You turn it down a little bit more. Oh, feel that cool breeze. Cool breeze. Oh, feel that. Keep turning it down further and further. Oh no, the air conditioner broke. All of a sudden the air keeps blowing and it gets colder and colder. Oh my gosh, this cold Arctic breeze going over you and you gotta do whatever it takes to keep yourself warm. Oh, using whatever body you need around you to keep yourself warm. Oh, let me see if I can fix 
nice air conditioner. Oh, 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 air conditioner's fixed. Oh. Temperature resumes, resumes to normal. Uh, what are you guys doing down here? Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, get back to your seats. Wow, what, what happened there? Um, yeah. older. Yes, yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. That's fine, everyone. Uh, go ahead and sit down. Sit down. Um, <laughs> in your hand, sleep way down. In your hand, sleep way down. That's fine. In a moment, the person whose neck I'm touching now. When you open your eyes, when I'm going to count from one to three, when you open your eyes, you will not be able to remember the number seven. And each time you try to count, you simply go five, six, eight, nine, and so the number seven just vanishes now from your mind. The number seven now vanishes from your mind. And when I say the number three, you'll open your eyes, and you'll no longer be able to remember the number seven. And each time you try to say the number seven, you'll only be able to say the first letter, and you'll say, and you will not be able to say the rest of the number seven. When you open your eyes, you will not be able to say the number seven. You will remember it, but you will not be able to say it. The person who's not kind of touching right now, you, the number seven vanishes from your mind. You no longer remember that number. All of you open your eyes, one, two, three, wide awake, wide awake. Wide awake? Good, wide awake? All right, welcome. Okay, class, so, um, so, you know, we've been talking a little bit about mathematics, and I need a volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? Just raise your hand if you want to volunteer. You want to volunteer? Okay, go ahead and stand up real, real quick. So I'm going to, um, we're just going to start really simple, and I'm just going to have you count from one to ten. Would you be able, you know how to count from one to ten? Okay, good. I'll say, go, go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, whoa, ten. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I think I think you missed something. Go ahead and try again. Start from the beginning. I'm, I'm really scared. I'm okay. I, no, I trust I, you. I, I believe in you. I, I maybe I, maybe I was just hearing wrong, but I felt like something was missed. Go ahead and right. one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Um, I don't do English. You know, actually, do actually, well, why don't we do this? Here, just pull out your hand. Maybe you just need a little bit of help. All right. So we're just going to count your fingers. Okay. So. Okay, um, go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you have eleven fingers? Well, let's let's just let's just start from the beginning. Okay, just let's just try this one more time. Okay, I, no, I believe you. I believe you're good. Okay, just go ahead. I know, I know. I, I know you're, you're like, don't worry. Don't worry, this is perfectly normal. Go ahead. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So you skipped one. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to mess with that. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, You got it. I got it. Good job. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. All right. Number seven vanishes from your mind. We're going to give you some math problems right now. You ready? All right, so we're going to have you do a couple very simple math problems. What's two plus two? Four. What's two plus three? Five. All right, what's five plus four? Nine. Good. What's five plus two? Eight. Okay, what's, 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 that was a hard question. I, I admit that. What's four plus three? Eight. Uh, kids, is, is this right? Seven. Seven. Eight wrong. <laughs> seven. What was that? I told her to say seven. <laughs> what did you say? Seven. 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 Sub it. 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 Sub it.
saying? What number? Subed. 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 Okay, let me give you a couple of other. What's what's two plus four? Six. Okay, six. What's what's four plus five? Five. What's five plus two? Seven. Huh? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give our cute students a big round of applause. Three, two, one, sleep. now on, you remember the number seven, and from now on, you can easily pronounce the number seven. In a moment, in a moment, I'm going to be counting from one to three. The moment I say the number three, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, and the person whose neck I'm touching right now, you are world famous earlobe inspectors. That's right, in the audience are some perfect sets of earlobes, and your job is to find those earlobes in the audience. So, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, you are earlobe inspectors. The person whose neck I'm touching right now, and the person whose neck I'm touching right now, anytime you hear me say the name Woody, you will jump out of your seat and you will scream at the top of your lungs, I love Woody! So the person whose neck I'm touching right now and the person whose neck I'm touching right now, anytime you hear me say the name Woody, you'll leap out of your seat, you'll scream the name I love Woody and continue screaming, but the moment I ask you what you said, you will have no idea what you said. The person whose neck I'm touching right now, when you open your eyes, in front of your feet will be a little pink horse. Yes, a little pink riding horse. This will be your mighty seat. In fact, the moment I say the word, give me a word, giddy up. The moment I say the word giddy up, you will pull this horse off of the ground and you will begin running around the, the, the room saying, yee I love chubby midgets. <laughs> the person whose neck I'm touching right now. And every time I say the word giddy up, you'll grab the horse, you'll start racing around the room, yelling, Yeehaw! I love chubby midgets at the top of my lungs, at the top of your lungs, until I tell you to stop. In a moment, when I say the number three, all of you will open your eyes, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, and the person whose neck I'm touching right now. You will begin walking through the audience trying to find the person that has the perfect earlobes. That's right, because you are world famous earlobe inspectors. The person whose neck I'm touching right now, and the person whose neck I'm touching right now, anytime I say the word Woody, you will leap out of your seat and you'll scream at the top of your lungs, I love Woody. The person whose neck I'm touching right now, anytime you hear me say the word giddy up, you'll pick up the horse, begin running around the room, and you will scream at the top of your lungs, yeah, I love chubby midgets. The person whose neck I'm touching right now, anytime I say the word sunshine, you'll begin walking up and down the aisle, singing at the top of your lungs, because you are a world famous opera star. You'll begin singing the song, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine at the top of your lungs, because you are world famous opera star, and you can sing like a nightingale at the top of your lungs, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, any time you hear me say the word sunshine, you'll begin marching up and down the aisle, marching up and down the, the room, singing at the top of your lungs, um, you are my sunshine, the person whose neck I'm touching right now, any time I say the word bug, in front of you, you will Imagine you will believe that you see a giant bug, and your job is to step on that bug and to exterminate that bug before that bug hurts anyone. So the person whose neck I'm touching right now, your job is to exterminate the bug. Should you, should you, uh, should I ever say the word bug? In a moment, all of you will open your eyes. One, two, three, wide awake, wide awake. And wide awake. Fantastic. 
when I stub my foot, all the, the earlobe inspectors will begin searching for the perfect earlobe. You know, I, I am so grateful. I'm so grateful that we were have the opportunity to come here and celebrate the birthday of Woody. I love him. I love you, Woody. Oh, what's going on? You, what, what, what just happened? You don't remember, do you? What What happened? Oh my goodness, what's happening? Um, so, you know. You know, one of my favorite things, um, you know, growing up is, is um, I love to just, you know, I had a horse one time, and I just remember getting on that horse and saying, Giddy up! Everyone take a big deep breath in. 